Hey everybody, it's Michael here uh, with another video on uh, 3D printing. Today, uh, what I've got is a Prusa nozzle Mark II installed in my Maker Farm 8 inch Prusa i3 printer. And uh, this all metal hot end, I gotta say, is uh, this is everything a hot end could possibly be, I think. Uh, so far, uh, I'm printing ABS right now, just a little bit warmer than I would print it with a J head, uh, printing at 240 degrees, but I'm printing at twice the uh, rate. So I'm printing. Um, Perimeters at 80 millimeters per second, which is twice what I normally do for the with the J head, which is uh, 40 millimeters per second, and printing infill at 100 millimeters per second. So uh, this is really twice as fast as I have as I normally print with the J head, and it doesn't appear that I've hit the limit yet. I think I could even uh, bump this up just a little bit further. Even uh, so far, I've just kind of done some basic tests and some basic calibration with the Prusa nozzle, uh, but so far it sure looks to me like it is depending on your taste, either the Cadillac or the Ferrari of uh, all metal hot ends. Um, so far it's been able to print everything I've thrown at it. Uh, you know, it, it did print PLA. If you saw my review of the Magma hot end, that was the big uh, issue that I had with it. I just could not get that thing to print PLA at all. And um, the Prusa uh, has not failed a PLA print yet. Now I haven't really done much beyond printing some basic calibration objects, so I'm sure that in order to get it to print PLA well, I'm going to have to do a little bit more work, but you have to do that on any hot end. So that's certainly not a disqualification by any means. Uh, yeah, this, uh, again, all metal hot end, so there's nothing that's going to melt. Uh, it will print just about anything you can throw at it. Uh, I'm really anxious. I've got a couple rolls of Tolman nylon that I haven't tried yet, but I really am anxious to, uh, uh, to see how that works out. Uh, right now, it does have the 20 millimeter fan that does need to be on all the time, which is a pretty common feature of uh, just about any um, all metal hot end. And if you saw the unboxing video, you saw that this hot end shows up essentially completely assembled. You just put the heater block onto the nozzle and tighten down one bolt and you're ready to mount it. Now, on the topic of mounting, uh, this, is, this is actually pretty important. If you bought a uh, Maker Farm Prusa i3 with the J head, uh, and it's mounted with this mounting plate right here. This is a six millimeter laser cut plywood uh, mounting plate for the custom J head that comes with the with the printer. That's not going to fit on the Prusa, I, I'm sorry, on the Prusa nozzle. If you have the magma hot end, then your mounting plate's going to work just fine. But uh, I didn't. So what I did is I ordered this from the uh, hotends.com website, uh, and this is a standard 4.5 millimeter mounting plate, which is what the um, uh, the Prusa nozzle takes this not obviously not this one I have another one that's on there so uh, right now uh, what can I say it looks like it's printing very quickly very accurately uh, you may be wondering what that uh, micro switch is that's right next to the fan on there that is completely obscuring the view of the Prusa nozzle mark II, which I promise is actually there uh, that actually is a automatic bed leveling system that uh, that I've, I've gotten working here thanks to the very hard work of a few people and I'm hoping to do a Kind of a review and a how-to on getting that set up here shortly. So uh, right now, so far, uh, my initial um, my initial thoughts on running the the Prusa nozzle Mark II. This is a fantastic, uh, absolutely fantastic hot end. Like I said, either the Cadillac or the Ferrari, uh, and it does have the price to match. This is a very expensive hot end. It can be uh, as much as you know, at least twice as much as a J head would cost, and depending on uh, um, uh, what parts you may have bought ahead of time and in bulk it may be up to three times as much as an alu hot end uh, so it's a great performer but at a price so i will have a, a lot more to say about this in the future i do plan on doing a, a quite a few experiments to see just what this hot end is going to do and i will certainly keep you informed so thank you very much for watching and uh, please feel free to hit me with any questions thanks a lot